What's up guys, it's Jose here from Heroes of Clash of Clans and today I will be doing a build review on my clanmate Pardo and he has Town Hall level 7. So one thing right off the bat that I would say is these four buildings in the corners, the barracks, the laboratory, the builder cell, and the gold mine, um, just bring them in towards your village. There's no reason to have them outside. I know people like to do that with their builder sets because they think that it'll um, make the enemy probably not 3 star them because they had to take timer troops to get those things in the corners and yeah that's true but um i don't think it's really worth it because then they can uh one star you more easier they could just destroy those get some free percentage out of 50 percent to get a one star and defeat you so yeah just start off with that i would say move those in towards the middle and i'm um, now looking closer at his village um one thing i noticed right away is that uh your mortar right here is um it's not in the middle so what I would say is probably like, um, I would say switch this mortar with that canyon, those two inside the walls right there. Then switch to this canyon right here in front of the town hall out for the mortar because the mortars uh, do splash damage so they're very, very important. And I think I would also say the wizard tower, this one right here, switch it out for that canyon right there. And also this wizard tower right here, switch it out for that canyon because... The buildings like um, wizard towers, hidden teslas, and mortars, the ones that do splash damage are the most important, I believe, because they can take out many enemy troops instead of just one at a time. So I would try to protect your wizard towers, mortars, and hidden teslas if you have any, more than your cannons or archers. And your archers, um, you have four, so what I would say is, um, since this is kind of like a square base, the walls, I would try to put an archer tower in each corner. That way they could like basically defend your whole base from a distance. But um I see that your archer towers are not upgraded really well, so upgrade those. Um I don't think you got town that long ago because you know it looks like you just started uh upgrading and adding new things to your town hall. So yeah, looks like you start to get your head and Teslas. And your one, two, three, four, no, you got your five canyons, so that's pretty good. Um I don't know. Make sure that all your buildings on the outside of the walls, these gold mines, the, the army camps, and the elixir pumps, make sure that they're in reach of your defenses so that if enemies try to destroy them easily, your defenses can reach out and take out the enemies. So that's why that's where the archer towers come into place. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know why you would do this. Like, just make it out, stretch it out for no reason. If I were you, I would just bring the wall in and move all these or the gold mines closer into your village. Um, these builder huts really don't have anything to do inside the walls. Uh, if I would just keep the important things in the walls, you know, your defenses most of all, your town hall, maybe your clan castle, your storages. That's all I would keep in the wall. And maybe if you like redesign your base somehow, you can maybe have it so that you have two layers going around two layers of wall going around all these things that you need to protect and then just have everything else outside like these builders huts have no reason to be inside here the bracks i don't know why they're in there you know that you don't need to defend them they're not that important um but yeah otherwise just uh keep the things that are important your defenses your town hall and your storages inside the walls take everything out but try to bring everything else all those other unnecessary buildings that like don't really defend your village bring those as close as you can to your walls and make sure that all your defenses can reach out as far as they can so that they um can kill any enemy troops trying to uh take away free buildings and if you don't know what i mean by free buildings is basically where like for example this barracks is way out here that's free building because if the team were to, uh, if the enemy were to just place an archer or a barbarian or whatever right there, it could easily kill the brax or destroy the brax without getting like in hurt or damage from any of your defenses, and they would get some easy points towards the 50%, which is a one star, which will make you lose some trophies. So just overall, um, switch around some of your defenses. Have the splash damage, your mortars, your wizard towers in the inside of your village, not your canyons. Those aren't that important. Um, but yeah, overall just protect with the walls, only the stuff that you need. Your storages, defenses, town hall, everything else put it outside but right next to the walls. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope to see some improvement in your village. Um, 
Yeah, it's pretty nice village though. It looks nice, and I can tell you just start off with Town Hall Seven, so it's it's all right. You don't have to be ashamed of yourself or anything. You know, you're just starting off. This is just one of your first designs, so uh, I think it's good. It, it is. You just need to change a little things here and there, but yeah, good job, Pardo. And so yeah, peace, guys. That's it.